coronavirus numbers out today, reporting a significant decrease in cases and hospitalizations. 682 new positive cases reported, while 885 people are in the hospital. Seven more Oklahomans have lost their lives. 10,479 people have died since last March. And of the more than 10,000 Oklahoma lives lost, more than half of them happened after the vaccines were released. News Force Kaitor K has more. Kaitor. Jolene, today a virtual conference was held focusing on vaccines and painting the picture of how many deaths could have been prevented if more people had gotten one and how it's not too late to change the state's trajectory. Very sombering. It's, it's difficult. We talked about it last night at our coalition. It causes great heartache, really. The Healthier Oklahoma Coalition reflecting on the Oklahomans who have died from COVID in 2021, the number approaching six and a half thousand. 98% of the deaths in Oklahoma have been among unvaccinated people. Epidemiologist Aaron Wendelbo reporting during the Tuesday conference that 129 of those deaths were Oklahomans who were fully vaccinated, stressing that many more lives could have been saved. The bottom line is we could have prevented roughly 6,200 COVID-related deaths with more vaccines. That is approximately this, equal to the size of Paul's Valley or Anadarko. The health leaders project Oklahoma hospitalizations will reach a low point in November, and for deaths, it'll be in December. Uh, unfortunately, I do think that we'll uh, start seeing a, an increase again in a few months. Wendell Bow believing immunity will start to wear off and that vaccines will remain important. I want to emphasize that these deaths really are preventable, the, the vast majority of them, and so if we do a better job of getting um, our family, our friends vaccinated, then, then we don't actually have to see an increase in deaths again. The coalition says there may possibly be authorization for oral and nasal vaccines either late this year or by early next spring.